you know, given, the, given the week that your side have had, how nice is it to see the energy, the result, the performance that come to a place like this, rocking and take away that other crucial people? Yeah, it was incredibly difficult for the boys today, to be honest, it's uh, clear. I mean, we, we, we played two, two, three, uh, two and a half days ago, if you want. Um, coming here, team in form, six wins, home wins in, on a bounce, um, great weather, everybody in a good mood. Um, actually, pretty much everything is prepared for uh, another home win. The only group who wanted to avoid that was were my players, and I was, I'm, 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 it was an outstanding football game, to be honest. First 15 minutes, we had to adapt slightly, a little bit, that's normal. Um, obviously, um, yeah, Newcastle changed a little bit, put Joel Tono on the right side, left side, all right, and, and kicked the ball there, went for second balls. We, had, we struggled a bit, tried to adapt to it, did better. Uh, when the ball was on the ground, we were really good there already. I really liked how we played, how we put them, kept them quiet. Um, can't remember a lot of counter attacks. There was an offside goal they scored that might be one of the um, second half. Yeah, the chance they had was offside as well. Um, so I honestly, in the circumstances, top class performance. Really happy. How do you keep churning out performances like that? I mean, you made four changes today. Five. Five changes, and the, the lads who came in were, were just as good as the ones that you had. Yeah, it's cooler. Yeah, to be honest, it's um, yeah. That's the only reason why we are where we are. That's how it is. It's the only reason the boys um, buy completely in in the situation. The boys that didn't come on today should have, should have seen their faces um, on the bench when when their final whistle. When we had the final whistle. It's absolutely outstanding. We know that um, the group is exceptional, um, exceptionally talented, and real has a really good character and. Um, that's very helpful. Neil, James, John. That's got James Milner. I mean, I think it was his first Premier League start since the 2nd of January. But to come in and play like that in such a big game and, and have not as much football as I'm sure he would have liked, what's that say about him? Yeah, outstanding. But he had to be had for sure another game. Plus, just Premier League start, yeah. start, yeah, uh, thank you very much. So he played in any other competitions, yeah. Millie is uh, Millie, and it's not, um, it's incredibly important for us, and um, not, and that's very important because people think if we, we talk about dressing room or kind of this happening, yes, it, it is helpful, he's very helpful there, especially with the, with the manager who speaks, uh, is no native speaker, <laughs> sorry, um, but um, on the pitch as well, and he played a super game. Super game today, so um, I don't want to take anything away from him. But I thought I, I liked Nabi's performance <laughs> as well a little bit. Hand on six and all this kind of thing. That's, that worked out really well. The boys were on fire. We played football. We, we kept the ball in the right moments. We struggled around the second ball fights. We knew that before the game because there's no no way I know at least to defend them 100%. It's always been really tricky 50 50 in between ball and that's not cool to defend, but. Um, apart from that, I, I really loved the game, and, 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 and James was a massive part of it. Gentlemen, behind Keith, and then we'll go to Sam. Yeah, but you've, you've achieved an awful lot in your career already, but how excited are you personally going into the last few weeks of the season with what's been said for you? Yeah, very excited, but not because the prospect of winning something, because I, I, never, I never understood that. Um, it's like. Um, let me say we have five points ahead in the league, for example, and then you have four games to play, and you know, all the time people ask, I know, is he looking forward to it? No, 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 you're just concerned about winning the next game. If somebody tells you it's done, then you can think about all the rest. So I'm, I'm not smart enough to, to do to try two things at the same time. Um, so if we finish the game, and I've, when our analyst was in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the dressing room, and I asked him, how's VRL playing? So, because they play at now as well, they were two one down, changes, made a few changes, line up. But, so that's our life. Not We are excited, I love this football team, and um, we, we, we go in the next one and try to, to be as good as somehow possible. Uh, but that's it, it, pretty much. It's very, it's a good situation, but um, for us, the number of games we still have to play are really it's a lot. Eh? Um, with or without the Champions League final, it's a lot. So, and we. We should better win everything because otherwise it could be um, tricky. We've got the 
last three, I think, Sam at Luke and then Cuba to finish with. Yeah, how do you, when you make those big decisions about changing the team, obviously you, you have to, how do you make it? Because obviously you can't change everyone, you know, and somebody, some of them have to play every game. No, look, it's, uh, well, uh, so it, obviously it's my job to make decisions. I don't have to do a, uh, a lot of other things. Um, so the thing is, for example, Costas Timikas would have would have deserved to play as well. That's a, and, and Robo would, could have had a break as well. But when you change one fullback and a centre half, and then with the other uh, three changes the last line, of the, so that's what, what I think. Then okay, no. Don't do that. Um, um, let's do it like this. These kind of things. So, but the, the decisions is, are not that difficult because the boys are all in a good shape. So, really, all in a good shape. And we had now um, Divo Rigi with uh, as well a little bit um, <coughs> vomiting stuff like this, um, stomach problems. We, we had that before with with Curtis and with Costa. So we have to make sure and be careful that it, it's not really going around. Um, that's why he was not involved. And and yeah, it's. It might be hard. It's hard for in moments for the players not to play, but the, with, with the quality the boys offer, it's for me not that difficult. Okay. Luke, Chief, and then we'll finish. Jürgen, yeah, James Milner made his debut 20 years ago. Um, Why were the people whistling a little bit when he had the ball? With Hendo, I understand it, but what know. was it about Millie when he got the corner? I don't know. He got applause. Sorry, what? Uh, that's then people whistle or got what? Applause. We got, got applause as well. Quite like James, oh, good, good. <laughs> then, I just want to ask because I thought I heard a few. No, he's been, but he's been playing 20 years. He's 36. Have you met a, a fitter 36 no. more dedicated professional in any way you work? No, but it would be interesting to to, to look at Luka Modric. Is he not 36 as well? So obviously, good a good generation. <laughs> um, no, uh, it's difficult to be fitter. Them in the end. Um, he's a role model. I told him, I can tell the whole world, nothing what we did achieved in the last few years would have happened without James Miller. Easy as that. If he was on a pitch or not. Um, it is because he set standards in a way not a lot of people can set standards. And uh, that was extreme. That was, that educated all of us. Thanks for keeping Another James Miller question. Great. Uh, yeah, I think we're all obsessed with him. Nothing. You have a million decides that. Not in you. Okay. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you very much.